course creator or creating any kind of videos for your business, then one of the things you probably find that you need is some sort of software where you can host your videos. And this can add extra cost to your business, especially when you're just starting out. But if you're a Canva user, did you know that you can actually host videos using Canva? And this applies to both free and pro. Obviously with free, you don't get as much capacity, but with pro, you can upload and share as many videos as you like. Now this little tip I learned from Jason Zook, who is behind the course platform Teachery. And if you'd like to learn more about Teachery, which is the course platform I use, you can find a link in the description below to find out more about it. So let's dive in and take a look at how you can use Canva to host your videos. All right, so in Canva, you're going to go to create a design and you're going to choose video. Now what you want to do is upload your video. So you can go into uploads and you can upload whatever video file you want. You could also create a video within Canva if you want to use slides and create some sort of slideshow, anything like that. You can also use their record tool and record your face over the top of the slideshow. So create your video. So for example, if we uploaded something and, and here, sorry, you just want to make sure that it's this full size. So if we upload something, we want to increase the size so it fits within that video size. So now what you want to do is go to share and you're going to choose more and then this one here embed. So and then we click on embed and it's going to give us this HTML code so we can copy it. So now we're going to go wherever we're going to upload it. So here I'm going to put it into Teachery. So I just need to paste the code in. And as you can see here, we've got um, this extra bit of text underneath. So it's got to start with div and end with slash div. So this little bit here where it's got that little arrow and then a h ref, that section we want to get rid of because that will add some text under the video and we don't actually want that. So you want to remove that and then press save. And now you've got a video that's embedded. So as you can see here, we've embedded the Canva video. So it's a super great way to be able to embed video, have a video host, and it's not costing you extra to have that video hosting. So if you're already using Canva, you can use the free one up to a certain limit with how much you can upload, or you can use the paid one and be able to upload as many videos as you like, and you've got free hosting then. So as you can see, that's how it looks. And and how easy is that? You're not having to use something like Vimeo. You're not having to worry with YouTube, how it will show videos at the end or anything like that. It's a really nice, clean player and you're not having to pay that extra money to do it. So I hope you found this helpful. If you've been frustrated about where you should be hosting your videos when you want to embed them in your courses or in other places for your business. And again, if you want to learn more about Tea Tree, the course platform that I use and use for more than just courses, I also use it for different freebies and digital products. It's a really creative course platform because you could really customize it and make it a more immersive experience for your customers. If you're interested in learning more about it, make sure you check out the link in my description below. And if you'd like to learn more about using Canva, about branding and creativity and graphic design make sure you subscribe to this channel and I'll see you next time